Hey, what's up you guys? It's Bjorn from Jurassic Park Tribes again and today I wanted to show you guys where I get my hatching water from. So, as you can possibly hear right now, it's currently raining in my country and uh, we actually have a special roof in our garden that's basically able to collect a lot of uh, high volume of uh, rainwater and I'm currently using it for that. Uh, what I want to show you guys is the roof first, so let's take a look. So, that's the roof. It is a wooden slash plastic roof and it definitely does collect water really well. Then it will be transferred down basically to over here. What I'm doing now is I'm using this sieve to make sure that there are no leaves and other debris is coming in as well. But the thing is, um, I would definitely like to use rainwater instead of other uh, types of uh, natural spring waters or uh, mineral waters that you can buy in the stores. Um, problem is they sometimes add stuff and well in nature troughs actually hatch on rainwater so I was like why would I never uh, why would I not just gather my own rainwater. I tried it several times it also works with snow definitely a good source. Uh, I have been doing this for like more than a year now and uh, I'm always really happy with my rainwater uh, when it's starting to rain because I was actually running out of rainwater right now. And um, since let's say a month I'm also using rainwater for my Boosa Philandra propagator so I definitely need a, not, a lot more rainwater now. Um, so basically this is how I gather my rainwater. and. Um, I already filled up one bucket, I wanted to fill up two of them, but unfortunately it stopped raining again. So uh, the blue sky is coming again, rain stops, no problem though because it will um, provide me with more water because uh, it actually takes some time for the water to travel down the pipe and um, I guess I am able to fill up at least half a bucket now, one and a half. So that should be enough and um, just removing the sieve again and another, yes, very nice fresh rainwater. It's actually funny, like when I, was, I wasn't keeping triops I would just hate the rain, but now when it's starting to rain I'm really happy, I'm like yay, I can get some hatching water again. <laughs> so it's really funny right now. and. Um, well, I'm actually really happy with the rainwater, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook it just to make sure that there is no bacteria or parasitic life in it. Um, just let it cool down for a bit and then I just turn it over to some jugs that I have and uh, that way I can storage them, uh, make sure that the water is closed as well, while well, the container is closed. And uh, then everything is fine, then I just save it for at least like up to a half year and then I will just use it for plants, you know, for the Boots of Philandra lab. Because I actually want to have some fresh rainwater. That's what I would love to have. Um, but sometimes uh, it doesn't rain for a long time and um, then I would just need to use the old rainwater. Still fine, but I always uh, boil it another time again. Just to make sure that there is no bacterial life, parasitic life in it um, that has been growing inside the jug. So. Just to make sure that everything is clean and uh, sterile, just to make sure that the tribes will be able to hatch in it. So that's it guys, just a small video, I just wanted to show you guys how I get to my rainwater. Because actually some people have been asking like, how do you get so much rainwater for your hatching setups and stuff? And I was like, mm, maybe I should explain that one time. Um, so I have a special roof to collect rain for my hatcheries. That's basically the story. I hope you guys enjoyed the little small video and hope to see you guys next time.